Hello, good morning. You are more than welcome back to Little Miss Drop Stitch. Today, what I have for you is how to assemble the sewing pattern PDFs off my website. Okay, this is my website, and this particular I'm showing you now is the reversible line tote bag. We do have tutorial on YouTube as well at littlemissdropstitch.co.uk if you want to print the pattern, okay? You can just measure it, it's on the squares. But here I'm going to show you how to assemble. This is for the PDFs off my website, so other kind of sites, indie pattern designers might be slightly different in assembly. Okay, so the way it prints is in tiles. I've also included on the website the full kind of large scale version if you did have a large print printer you know a1 ao size um, but if not you do just get to see kind of how it should assemble in case you're struggling okay so it does print out in tiles and for this we'll need our scissors not essential but um, a boarding tool just for folding paper creases but not essential and some sort of tape i'm using washi tape because i have absolute lows and it's a bit see-through if i do need to go over a line as well um, and it's not as plasticky as sellotape. Cool. So I've already laid, laid six of them out. Don't forget as well, um, there's also a test square, okay? And it, it says how much it should measure. So in this case, five by five centimeters, two by two inch. So make sure you measure that, because if that's not right, the rest of your um, pattern won't be. You'll need to look at your printer settings, okay? In the corner, and I will flash up a photograph Here in the corner, it says 1-3 on this piece. And it's worth noting as well, they do print out in order if you've messed it up. Printed them and shuffled before you've watched this video, it's not a problem because it does say, okay. So at the top here, we have 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 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 okay? And the next row I've put out is 1-2, two, 2-2, two, two, three, two, okay? So the ones, the twos, the threes, okay, three, one, three, two. So educated guess that one's going to be three, three. Okay, so one, three, two, three. Some blank pieces, got a bit happy print in there. Okay, and three, three, and so on, but I've run out of table. So I'll just show you how to assemble them. Okay, let's start from the top. Now let's do these two pieces, okay? So make sure that it matches up according to either the full size version on the website, you can just do it by eye or this. Some people like to cut one edge, um, personally I'll, I'll just fold it, to be honest and that's what I've got my boning to, okay? So we'll just fold, one side you don't need to cut off all because we do need something to tape it to, okay? Apologies um, but the writing is so small that's um, Adobe Acrobat, that's not me for the little matchups. Okay, so we want to get it all nice and lined up. Perfect. Okay, it will print, it's printed kind of a bit extra as an overfold, but we want to be matching up, and again, we'll have a close up photograph of this. We want to be matching up the points. Okay, there's some little lines. There we go. Brilliant. And then I'm just going to tape. And this tape see through, so if there are any lines of the pattern, I can go through it. Okay? And that's just about it. Put them all together, and then you can cut the pieces out once it's made something nice and big and that resembles a pattern. Okay, so a couple of key points to remember is the coordinates for lining it up, but you can look at the full size version as well by eye. And then also to remember when you're folding or cutting one edge, we need to line it up, but then also use the points in the corner as well to match up. I hope you enjoy your next project.